Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKitai.com. We're here at Fujitsu's booth at CES 2012, checking out their new smartphone and tablet. So, yeah. so I'm James Maynard from Fujitsu, and um, at, at CES we're showing the world's thinnest waterproof smartphone at 6.7 millimeters, um, running the Android platform. Um, the device is waterproof down to 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes um, and we can demonstrate that in the bowl of water that we have here. So we can put that straight in. Um, the device is still functioning in, in the water. Um, remove that and then just straight back to the home screen um, and you can continue using that. But not only that, um, Fujitsu have been producing waterproof phones for um, four years now. Um, it's just the first time they've actually brought them to CES um, and demonstrated them. Um, so when they then produced a tablet device, it was only natural that that tablet device was also made waterproof. So this tablet is submergible again down to 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes. So we can stick that straight in a bowl of water, um, let it float around a bit, um, and it can stay there for up to 30 minutes. And we have a fish tank at, at the front of the show where that is, that is being demonstrated. Um, take it back out give it a bit of a drain off, get the water out um, and then you can back using, browsing through the, the device itself. Okay, and what kind of specs does this tablet have? So th this tablet's running a dual core processor um, and not only that but Fujitsu have done an overlay so because it's waterproof you might want to use gestures rather than actually controlling the device so we can't demonstrate at CES due to the number of people about but you can actually change and control the device by just gesturing in front of the front camera so that if you are cooking and using it for recipes etc you can actually just to change the pages in the recipe book rather than getting the device dirty but should you get it dirty just give it a wash under the tap and, and you keep using it okay all right thank you no. all right guys so we just finished taking a look at the waterproof capability of the Fujitsu Aeros tablet now we're just going to take a general uh, look around the hardware and some of the software so we'll start with the front up here we have a 1.3 megapixel camera and below that is the large 10.1 inch uh, 1280 by 800 display. Moving over to the left side, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And over here we have our HDMI out port. And concealed over here is our micro SD card slot, as well as our SIM card slot. Along the bottom, we have two docking ports to connect to a desktop dock. On the right side, it's flush. Same as the top, just flush. And flipping over to the back, we have our 5.1 megapixel camera over here. Above, above that, we have the power button. And on the right side, we have our volume uh, up and down rocker. As you can see, the back is all white. It has a soft, rubbery feel, almost like it's uh, wearing a case. After all, it is waterproof. Taking a look at the software, this is running Android 3.2 Honeycomb. So we'll swipe around, you can see it runs fairly well. Go into the app tray. Take a look here. Now this tablet is currently in Japan, it's available there. Uh, Fujitsu is in talks uh, about bringing it over to maybe the US or other global markets. So it has a 6,560 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it also has a gig of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Let's go ahead and pull up the settings menu real quick. It's running Android 3.2. Uh, assuming it's going to get an update to Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich sometime down the line, but we'll have to see about that. So again, this was the Arrows tablet uh, from Fujitsu at CES 2012. All right, so moving on, we took a look at the uh, waterproof tablet from Fujitsu. Now this is the uh, Arrows F07D Arrowsu from Fujitsu, it's for NTT Docomo. And this is the world's thinnest smartphone at 6.7 millimeters. That's thinner than the Motorola Droid Razor, 
was 7.1 millimeters, and we reviewed that earlier, so be sure to check that out. Uh, we'll start with the hardware. Of course, this is all waterproof, so every, everything is going to be cased in nicely. Uh, we'll start with the front. We have our 4-inch WVGA uh, resolution display that's AMOLED, and it's 480 by 800. Down here, we have our three hardware buttons. On the right side, we have a power button, volume up and down rocker. On the bottom, it's flush, except for a micron. And on the right side, we have our charging port. Again, everything is cased in nicely to maintain that water resistance factor. And then over here on the top, we have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on this side, we actually have an antenna. And I'm assuming that's for your uh, TV capabilities. So on the back, we have a 5 megapixel camera. And this phone it has 1 gigabyte of RAM, 2 gigabytes of internal storage. Of course, we have a micro SD card slot as well, up to 32 gigabytes. And it has a 1400 milliamp hour battery. And it runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread. So we'll take a look around here, just swipe around. Take a look at the customizations from Fujitsu. So you can change into grid mode. And this is powered by uh, Qualcomm MSM. 8655 processor that's clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. All right, so this was the Aero's F07D at CES 2012 at Fujitsu's booth.